We've had a couple of our members request a video on how to look after wood. So here we are making a video on how to look after wood. In front of me I have five different stocks that represent the majority of certainly what you'll find of, on off the shelf guns that you're gonna go and buy. We have a Caesar Greeny that has a very high gloss oil finished but not traditional oil finished piece of wood. We have a fairly well oil finished piece of wood. We have a <coughs> lack of finished piece of wood. We have a Beretta with the older style of wood finish. They have subsequently changed the finish they put on their wood with the Silverton 3, but we'll talk about that. And we have this, a very old oil finished piece of wood. So let's start with the Beretta. How to look after a Beretta. You have two routes to go down with Beretta woodwork, and this kind of goes for brownies as well. They're a little bit different, but they are for the most part the same. Beretta sell their own version of this, which is True Oil, which is a hard finishing, very high, high return for your effort in terms of looks, oil. The first thing that I should say about True Oil is it goes a very, very, very long way. And by that I mean only use very small amounts. A lot of people who use it will complain their gun remains sticky for a long time after application. In fact, if you read the, the instructions, or depends on whose tool you're buying, the instructions are all different. It says, directions, remove old finish if present. So for the most part, this isn't really for topping up. However, if you take your breath out in the rain, you'll notice certainly all the ones, the newer style ones don't do it so much that the finish will wash off. And I'm only saying this because we've got a brush in front of us, most manufacturers will do the same if you take out an excessive rain. The finish is thin, it is not deep. Because, to be honest, you're buying a production line gun, they're not gonna spend hours and hours working and finishing the wood because it doesn't pay them to have the wood sat on the shelf drying. Drying times with true wheel vary massively and more importantly, it does go off. So if you leave it on the shelf slightly open for a while, the whole tin will be ruined, you need to throw it away. So you need to make sure you put the lids on correctly and or just use it fairly quick. So if you take it in the rain and a patch wears off, you will put, can put it on. To be honest, the finish they put in there is not thick enough that you can't top it up with this. The wing to do it is only to put very small amounts on and spread it and then let it dry, hang it and let it dry. So the instructions say, sand to a smooth wood and remove scratches, sand with the grain, wipe away sanding dust, apply oil directly from the bottle, use your fingers or a cloth, spread evenly within the grain, allow to dry thoroughly between coats. Two 24 hours, two to 24 hours may be required depending on conditions. I've had it, so I say it's weather dependent on drying time where it takes a week for this stuff to dry. It sometimes can be a real bastard. Sometimes it dries too fast. So I find in summer, it can be a real pain in the bum. Next, buff lightly with 00 steel wool between coats if imperfections exist. It, you must ensure that it is 100% hardened before you do that or the, in, the dust, the steel wool dust will get into the finish and you'll end up with steel wool specs, which is not good. To be honest, I wouldn't use 00 either. I use 40. And for the most part, if you don't put a great deal on, it goes a long way. So you can top up your Beretta finish with true oil. It is the simplest way of getting a really shiny looking finish. Like I said, the Berettas don't put a great deal of work in, so, and we'll come back to it. The extreme end of this is Cesar Guarini, who use more coats and put it into a higher polish. And you can tell this for the most part, when you look at a stock, it's about how much open grain you can see. A quality oil finish should leave you with a glass-like surface. All of the grain should be filled. This takes time. You'll notice, for example, on this one, the grain is a little bit more filled than it is on the Beretta, but it is not perfect. When you move over to this gun here, the grain is, for the most part, filled very, very well. Or at least it was until I've, I've been shooting with it in the rain, so I'm sorry about that. We take a quick deviation at this point to the lack of finish before talking about other products apart from True Oil. The only way to look after a lack of finish is to burn it with fire because it is bad. To be fair, lack of finish has its place, it has its place, but it's, it's not very nice. It's just practical. And just being practical is not that exciting. So we're gonna put that one away. The way to look after lack of finish is just to wipe it down with a cloth. That is the beauty of a lack of finish. It takes zero maintenance. Zero maintenance at all, but it is not pretty. 
so it can go away. So what to do if you have a Caesar Guarini with very shiny wood? The answer is to not really put too much more effort and oil into it. The way that they finish it actually makes it quite hard to enhance without taking it back to bare bones. What's the point when they look quite nice, certainly very nice, out of the box? The thing to do with a Caesar Guarini is to wax it. Wax it. Protect the surface, stop water getting in there and washing the surface off and just keep it as a nice waxed finish. Over your true oil finish. So just protect what is there. Any wax will do. Not a wet wax, not a spray on wax, a hard uh, wax compound. I'm not talking about rubbing a block of beeswax on there. Just a good quality beeswax polish. You can get gunstock wax. There's all sorts of branded products out there, but for the most part, just a good wood wax would be ideal. And just leave it because it's a good looking gun. The Beretta, on the other hand, is, hasn't had quite so much work put in, so you can enhance it fairly easily. Uh, the way to do that, first off, is to just go and shoot it for a while. It has got a wax finish over the top of the troil, so you just go and shoot it, again, the rain a few times, and to be honest, you'll notice that luster will leave the gun a little bit and you'll be a bit close to where you need to be. As our true oil friend says, you can sand off the finish, but to be honest, I'll just get some wire wool and just take the top off the, the finish. Beretta sometimes dye their wood, so if you cut too deep into it with sandpaper, you will change the color of your wood and have to re-dye it uh, to achieve the same color, or you'll end up with odd looking patches, which can be a pain in the bum, as I said before. At that point, and we're not gonna talk about how to completely oil finish a gun at this point, we'll probably do that in another video. That's when you can start looking after your gun and building up different finishes. And there's an array of products you can use out there. There's all sorts of kits and systems from different manufacturers, be that Birchwood KC or CCI or Trade Secret or any of these people will produce a gunstock finishing kit that will get you to where you need to be. Uh, we might also do a members video in the future of how to make your own secret stock oil. However, if you just want to look after what is there, because the oil, the grain is still open, you don't need to use true oil. You can use any other sort of conditioning oils. So, I mean, this isn't a good example, so I'm not gonna use it, but you could feed it with any conditioning oil will be good for Beretta and enhance the finish, fill the grain because there is still a root into the grain. Is this making any sense? Probably not. So that being the case, um, a conditioning oil, a wax, I like burnishing cream when it comes to Berettas. Personally, when it comes to um, the ones I've used or had to touch up in the past, maybe we'll bring them back up after a good rain, Two or three coats of conditioning oil, exactly the same. Use it thinly, let it dry. And then if you put too much on, cut it back. Take off the, the, what's too much, leave what's in the wood, put another layer on until you're building up, filling in that grain. And there's a few other products, but we'll keep them secret-ish. Um, that and that actually come into a similar thing. Enhancing a piece of wood like this is very similar to enhancing a piece of wood like this. The first thing I do when it comes to picking up an older oil finish gun is you'll see there's all sorts of muck and nastiness on there and is to hit it back with a 4-0 steel wool. And then to be honest, because the grain is still nicely filled because someone put in that effort 100 years ago, you can just go over with a finishing oil on top, be that true oil or any kind of oil. Even, a, even if you were to just put a conditioning oil and then put some burnishing cream over the top. And the burnishing cream doesn't do so much for the wood as shine, polish it, and just leave a very thin waxy layer over the top which is good. A good quality London finish, what to do with that? Well, that is the uh, exact same as the Guarini. Wax it. I think a lot of people feel the need to feed wood, but actually for the most part, if you have a piece of wood that has been nicely finished, you won't need to. So essentially, what I'm saying on all of these is to strip them all back, spend the hours and the love turning it into a good quality finish, which we'll do a separate video on, and you will be satisfied forevermore because actually putting all the effort in up front saves you patch repairing because the rain washed my finish away. There you go. That is how to care for your gun stocks. Wax, oil, never use too much oil. Never use too much oil because actually that's worse than not using enough. If you don't put enough on, you can always come back and do another layer. If you put loads on, sometimes you're gonna have to then cut all of that off and start again. And certainly when it comes to something like this, if you scrape a small patch of it off, trying to blend it in is not very fun at all. Not very fun at all. For example, by the way, what I'm gonna show you now is um, just how burnishing cream can work on a stock that looks like this. Because it would be a silly video to do and not show you something practical. And I think most people here will be just looking to make their stock shinier. So if you get 
a piece of wood like that, you rub burnishing cream on. And you'll see you're building up a bit of a layer there. And essentially this is just like a polishing wax. And you're just looking to work that in. Always keeping all oil, by the way, when you're putting it on these guns, away from the checkering, because filling checkering up with oil makes life hard for everybody involved. Also, when doing it, try and keep oil away from the action, although it will fill the people with joy when they see people's guns and there's like a little yellow hard line up and around over the metalwork where they've just over-oiled, not over-oiled, but the oil is spilled onto the action. Leave it for a couple of minutes to harden, and then flip a piece of paper over and buff and you suddenly realise this table is not half as sturdy as I thought it was. All right, and that there is the power of burnishing cream. And I know if you can see it as well as I can see it, but suddenly, well, two things. Firstly, that really high shine on the finish shows up a lot of the imperfections and actually a lot of the scratches and a bit more of the open grain in places and the fact that actually this gun, most of this, the grain was filled at some point, age and water has opened up certain bits, expanded certain bits and actually has given a bit of texture to the wood that I, to be honest, wouldn't, you can't recreate that and that's part of the story of the gun. But what that burnisher cream does is makes that wood shine and pop. And I think that's probably what most people are looking for in that video. You can see you've got lots of water spot marks, lots of little bits where the finish has gone dull. Burnishing cream fixes all of your problems. So there you go. Buy burnishing cream, go and enjoy yourself, job done. Guys, have a great day and we'll see you next time.